I show you my stuff with DM Scotty. Hey guys, uh, DM Scotty here. Good to have you with me. Today I'm going to show you an arcane ballista that I worked on for a recent game. And the race that uses the ballista is highly magical, so I was thinking that if they created the ballista, it may not be the standard kind of one that has a tension like a crossbow where it has you know, resets. That's the whole magical part of it. This is, the entire thing is fired by magic. So that was kind of what I was going for uh, when I created this. Also, I made some uh, 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 ammo racks for the, uh, the ballista itself. And I, the main purpose of those was so they, they could either reload the ballista if they were able to use it, or um, they could uh, taunt enemies into the, into the you know, the, they're like a rack of spears, so they could taunt enemies into them or push them into them. So it would be an interesting uh, the terrain challenge as far as the game goes. So uh, let's go to the table and I'll show you those in the raw state, and then we'll go to the table and show you what they look like completed. Hey guys, here's some uh, magical arcane ballistas I'm working on, and um, they look fairly complicated, but they're really not that difficult to, to make. Um, the uh, base is just a round woodsy, and then this was a bowl-shaped um, piece uh, from a woodsy pack. The two um, gears here are just a bead cut in half and glued on next to the post, and then this gear here is just a bead I got from a, from a bead set. These are just two spindles that I got from the Woodsies. This is a bead, and then I have just a, uh, a barbecue score sticking out the back. Now, the, you can see the end is open. I'm going to put a crystal on there uh, after I finish painting this up because I want to um, make it look uh, you know old and everything because it's going to be in an old uh, area. So I'm going to paint it up first so that way I can put the the clear crystal or the colored crystal in the back without paint without getting spray paint on it. So I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, paint those up and uh, show what they look like. So here uh, I've got an assortment of bolts for the arcane ballistas. The arcane ballistas are actually going to be in a ruined building, and um, these were the ammunition. Um, holders for them. They're actually going to be partially standing up. Some are going to be like bent over and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to have an encounter where uh, the players can taunt creatures into the spikes, uh, bolts, or they could even try to reload the ballistas, uh, the arcane ballistas. But like I say, um, these are ancient and not necessarily in working order, so they may, ex they may not quite work right. But in any event, they can still use these to skewer uh, taunt and skewer their enemies um, onto these because uh, I'm using some mana cores that uh, uh, are easy to, to, to come to rage and they'll tend to charge the target so they can like leap behind these uh, and use them as try to impale the, the target. So I thought it'd be some fun challenges and some fun options for the players to use these. But I'm also going to have these kind of standing partially up like I said. So um, I just wanted to show you those in work or in progress. And these are uh, just uh, little barbecue skewers that I got and cut off. So uh, it's the same ones I used to put inside the, the Arcane Ballista. So I wanted to show you that and then I'll move on to the next step. Here's one of the floors of a tower I did lately. And um, I wanted to show you the, uh, the Ballista in play. So um, what we've got here is we had some stairs going up. Then there's an opposite side stairs going up the other side of the tower. And I had these... Uh, Ballistera, which are like uh, arrow slits, and um, I had um, these arcane ballistas near them. So let me give you a look at the finished. You saw the the partially finished. So that's all painted up, and uh, they they belong to this race of giants that use this uh, eldritch magic, which has this bluish tint, and that's why I went with like this blue alloy that uh, they use for these. And I thought those came out really cool. And uh, you know, if you think about an arcane ballista. Um, you know, it, it may not have the tension on it like a regular ballista because you don't really need it. I mean, if you have some other way to propel the projectile, like say a, a magic, you know, something that builds up the magic to, to burst out the, the bolt, then you don't really need um, the tension. So that's what I was going for with this. Um, so this was pretty interesting. I also, when I showed you these um, bolts from the ballista, here's the uh, the the... The setups I made for um, them broken and turned over um, so that 
they could uh, either use the ammunition or they could have uh, they could uh, taunt creatures into it or get them you know push them into it or whatever here's another one I did um, I'll show you a couple more <clears throat> there's one and there's one so those came out really nice I think and they were great in play also um, I have a broken up ballista so I just took pieces of the ballista put it on a base and then put some rubble on the base and mixed it in so that uh, it was one that uh, had you know had deteriorated or exploded this this is a pretty ancient tower so that gave a nice um, little kind of uh, obstacle uh, for the game also uh, one, one more note on this tile itself you see that I did these two sides and I broke the wall and I had some construction sand there this is meant to symbolize that the wall has kind of broken in or fallen out so that's a nice uh, nice way you can represent on a say on a tower tile a uh, crumbling tower like the walls are, are coming down so uh, and, it, and in my game if you watch my play vids I had some mana cores come through fly in and attack so that was uh, uh, interesting um, in the game itself so there you go there's some uh, cool arcane ballistas the non-standard uh, tension kind um, more of a magical ballista so there we go I just made it out of uh, some wood pieces uh, some beads and uh, you know a jewel and that's really it so um, I think it came out great and I'll see you next time on the craft Hey crafters, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the DM's Craft. Uh, make sure to subscribe, and I have tons of other videos as you can see. I am the originator of the 2.5D method of crafting tiles. I also do dirt cheap terrain for the table. If all this intrigues you, make sure you check out all the videos below. Also, uh, join my forum. We have lots of great crafters on there who give uh, advice. I have a link above and below. And last but not least, remember, go forth and craft!